Aloha, it is Jazzy Kaea, and it is another edition of the Kapa Cafe, doing it via video <laughs> this time, so a little bit thrown off. We're all technology right, now, right? right? But we'd like to thank our, uh, I had to actually put pants on, uh, <laughs> we'd like to thank our sponsors over at Kona Grill House, ladies and gentlemen, our special guest today on the Kapa Cafe, multi hoku mm -hmm. Award winner, Kwana Torres Kahe. Hi, brother, aloha. 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 You know, Kuana, we've been, um, you know, we all, this has been a, a new thing for us. Everybody's home. You know, you're one of the most busiest musicians um, from Hawaii. And one of the things that I was telling Jazz that I totally thought was really interesting is you have been the farmer, uh, la'au, lapa'au guy, planting your garden and doing this Kuana Torres Kahele non-musical stuff. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always been my retirement plan, yeah. When whenever I think most Hawaiians, you know, their their end game is they like just retire and mahi ai. Yeah. And go back to you know, it's in our DNA, it's what we enjoy to do, it's what we should be doing. And I've always I was raised doing that stuff and I'm lucky that out of all my siblings I'm the one who got all that passed down to me. So I remember all that kind of stuff. I see the importance in it um, way before the Ma'i came and most especially now. And, um, you know, all this time at home quarantine, it really gave me um, a lot of time to catch up on a lot of stuff I wasn't able to do, able to get to in the garden, in the mala, for mea lapa'au, um, mea ai, all that kind of stuff. So, um, most especially now, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, beef up my garden because, you know, jazzy and cakes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. So here's the thing. I don't know if everybody knows this. Um, when you, you were, you're talking about of all your siblings, you were raised with this Ike. So who does this, who is the one that malama you to teach you all of the planting, how to make this tea? I, how, who taught you that? Um, my, my mom. Actually, my mom, I was Hanai by my mom's mom, so my, my grandma, but I was raised calling her mom. Um, she was born in Waipio Valley. Um, her name is Lulu Kelohilani Kahele. And basically, I would say a majority of what I know comes from her. That was the, my mom's side was the real nurturing side of our family, and my dad's side was um, the kindest. Point of finger, no need talk, you will do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, there's one thing that uh, stood out to me. I forget what event we were at. Um, and I believe I wasn't, I was okay. I wasn't feeling well. I had a little throat thing, but you were having a throat thing and you were like, girl, you got to try my tea. And so you had put this combination of this la'au la'au that I don't think, um, you know, other musicians, you know, it's like, okay, hot tea, put honey and ginger. But yeah. you were using this manao that your tutu shared with you. Yeah, um, it was a it's a concoction, a combination. Of, it depends what kind of ma'i you get or um, pilikia you get. But um, basically, it was olema because it's the anti-inflammation. So if you get anything going on in there, that'll stop that. Um, we get the uhaloa, it's good for the, the lungs, for the chest. So if you get hano, mm -hmm. yeah, um, the thing will help with that. Um, I do put ginger inside. The more hot you make that burger, the more he kills stuff. So the, more, the spicier it is to me, the better. And then um, I also put popolo and um, ira mamaki o koko o lao, depend. So with the popolo, do you use the, the hua, the berry? I or use the lao. The lao. Mm. Yeah, so the lao, the lao, you gotta, um, you gotta kind of cook it a little bit with pakai. Ah, okay. And the pakai acts as this, um... Activator. Yeah, as the activator and brings out the sun and you put them inside that. Ah, and you do hot and cold. And I do hot and cold. Well, I make them hot and then, me, I don't like drink hot kind of stuff. The only hot thing I drink is coffee, but, um... <laughs> I make every time that I get over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I said drinking now. But the time, um, every time I, I make monthly and I make a massive pot, and then I give um, 
plenty of people ask me, oh, cool, and then you, you sell, like, my friend, I'm not sell. I just make. So if I make, when I make, I let you know, I just give away. I don't consider myself sell this kind. Yeah, yeah. You know, what is one of the one things that your mom, speaking of your tutu, what is one of the things that you fondly remember her teaching you or something constant that you guys were always doing when you were with her? Um, it depends where we were, if we were at home, river, or by down the Kaakai, all of which have just so many, many fond memories. And um, if we were up at, uh, at home in Pihonoa, then we always up at the river because we came from a poor family, like a lot of other Hawaiian families. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, we never think so at the time, but um, I, I was the, I was the opihi for my mama. And as far as I can remember, all of my days are spent by the river because she go catch a pie. She catch a pie, she catch a prawn, and she had all her secret special areas. So I'm, I was literally like an OP on top of her back <laughs> while she go walk to the river, go balance her to Pohaku, and um, she would teach me where for go, what time for go, what for listen for, when for, how for know enough. Mm. So you know, overtake what wow. you need. All that kind of stuff. And even down the Kahakai, she, when we go down, go um, Kui Opihi, she tell us, tell me how to make, what, how to watch the whole, okay, okay, what is the right, right mud, what for watching the ocean so you know this certain thing ready. Right? When she would tell you these things, did, were you absorbing it or it just got in, implemented in later on as an adult? You're like, hey, I know all of this. Or did you know you were kind of getting schooled at that? I, um, I never absorbed it. I was too young for absorbable, but I was around it. In, it happened to me enough times where as a kid, you just go, oh, I know it really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, you know, Anna, you've been, um, we've been so blessed to share your music. And I was, we were talking the other day. Uh, we have a feature we have on, on Kappa, Throwback Thursday. And there's always these gems that we find with musicians that, Hawaiian musicians, that are no longer with us. And it's their compositions. Yeah, their compositions. There's certain things from Johnny Alamira. There's certain things from Kawai Kake. There's certain, mm -hmm. certain things. Now, the one thing um, today that I think about is that you are a composer and a musician. Now, who in the world composes Mele, a CD, for every single island in the Pai Aina? Who does that? So, I mean, I mean, hello, you know, so you have. So talking about documenting your artistry, the ano of you being a musician. Now that that has been completed, what is, what is upcoming for Kuana Torres Kahele? Um... Funny you should ask. I'm working on something now. It's oh, well, obviously it's been put on hold, but <laughs> um, you know, with from my days with Uncle Johnny to my days with Akoni, and then on over to Napa Apply, and then my own solo stuff. Um, I've always done um, so many things with respect to each individual group, and then when I when I got to my own solo career. I was able to do what I wanted, when I wanted. So I, I wanted to stay away from Napoli Play stuff. I wanted to stay away from what I was doing Ocon, and just do me. And then, so I released several albums of that. And then I came, with, came up with the bright idea, I don't know what I was thinking of at the time, of doing this albums for all the islands. And just last year, thankfully, I finished. And, but that was my aloha for the Pai Aina. Because, you know, I walk around or I go around and I see all these other musicians and even my peers. And every time somebody comes up with an album, I always hear the same songs. Yeah. Same songs done 100,000 different ways. Yeah. And it's fine. I mean, but I always think to myself, oh, we did so much melody out there. Well, how come everybody record the same stuff? And that's what prompted my idea for making new music for all the islands. You know, being um, to say that, Jazz has, we, we always talk about this because as the program director, he can, we can only play, on Kappa, we can only play so many renditions of Hi'ilave 
So <laughs> many editions of Kul yeah. Ahihi. So yeah, many. So when, a new, when a new version comes out, it's either got to be something completely out of the box or right. just really honor this one to a next level. But other right. than that, it's a lot of just. Yeah, yeah it's totally right. Because even when, when with Napa Apply, you know, when we get our meetings before we um, get into the studio and pound out another album, everybody comes to the table with their own individual mele. And then somebody has some traditional song that um, another musician was famous for doing. So my first question to them is, Do you, what's your arrangement for this? What's your spin on this? Is it better than that person's one? Because if it's not, I don't think you should touch it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know what is you know what is funny is I, I always laugh at um uh, one person that comes to mind is when uh Lim family, yeah, uh, for a long time, you know, the signature song for the halal is Po Olena. Yeah. Only Lorna, Lim, and the Lim family do Po Olena. And you know, you don't hear anybody recording it. Um, you know, and then you hear uh another one is Kelly E. Rachel. You don't hear people recording those mele. Um, because it, you know, like for Kelly E, that's his mele. Now for you. You have created a plethora of new mele. Have you ever had that conversation with a new artist, maybe asking to sing your songs? Actually, I have. Wow. I have had um, several ask me, and I, I'm super flattered when they ask me. <laughs> um, and I'm very encouraging, and I'm all for it. I'm like, oh yeah, what you need? I give you the mana right now. <laughs> But, um, you know, my stuff, you know, I write, when I write songs, I, I write all kinds, all kinds of um, this kind of millennial style song like that today, mm -hmm. using, using the mana'o of today. Mm -hmm. And then a great, a great majority is using the mana'o of yesteryear. So that really factors into how I haku. But um, I do, I must say, I do have a collection of songs where you can tell, oh, that's that it'll be to the likes of like Kelly e or to the Lin family, like, oh, you cannot sing that one because that's Kelly's. Nobody can sing, sing like him. Same with goes for the Lin family. And I have, I have a collection of songs like that too. But I try, you know, with the Pai Aina Mele that I've written, I've tried to keep it straightforward, nice and traditional, because that was my makana to everybody. You know, in halal, in halal, you always looking for that mele, yeah. Or does it honor Oahu? Does it honor Molokai? Does it honor? And now there's a resource. There's a resource. Oh, you know what? I mean, what's interesting is I'm actually using um Hele Kaulana for uh you know which are not uh um meetings with uh with my babies, teaching them guess what color, teaching them pua teaching them Mauna, because everything is in there. It's become a great educational resource. And um, I think what's interesting, though, is, is today, I don't know if people really understand the fact of how valuable documenting, I mean, there's a handful of you, like I can count on one hand, I mean, Kainani, Kainani, you know, um, th there's just a handful of you guys that, are documenting history today. So the question is, are you creating anything for coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, but the ultimate the ultimate goal is how do you how do you smoothen that out and deliver that yeah. to an album? That's the ultimate thing. So um, I do I have actually tried a couple of times. I'm just the paper and the book still inside there, inside the room. But um, I'm sure something, I'm, I'm really sure something's gonna come from it. Right, right on. So now, so now, uh, just to touch a little bit, um, we talked about Tutu, getting back to Tutu, and, and, and one of the things and why I wanted to call is you actually have a garden outside with certain plants that you're like planting. Like you, mm -hmm. like you have a Kwana garden. What is in your garden for everybody uh, who I, know you're doing that? I get all okay, kinds, you know, I, lucky, I live in Manoa Valley now on Oahu. And um, I'm blessed because Manoa is just, just like Hilo, always ua, plenty green, quiet, pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. And um, where I live, I live 
kind of to the likes of where I live, in P where I've lived in P.E. Hono. It's a cul-de-sac of homes where it's all Ohana. Well, I live in a cul-de-sac, no more Ohana, but I get plenty of Aina over here, which is usually you got to go country or who forget play big yard or that kind of stuff, but over here I have a big yard. So my my landlord, he pake and he found out I how I back pake, he loved me. <laughs> and he liked and he liked for plant stuff too. And the father was on Mahi Ai Kalo. Wow. Um back in the old days. So more so he loved me. So he told he told me, Oh go on a plant, whatever you like. So I said, Okay, I will. And slowly over the years, all my Miyakanu that was in Hilo I slowly brought them over to Hilo because you know that I'm hard for fine plenty stuff. Eh? Yeah, yeah. And um so I started bringing over several varieties of Kalo. The ao la pa ao, um, the kind of me I for eat, and that's what I go into my garden. So I get um, several varieties of taro. Um, some to mention, I get um, mana ulu, mana ele, mana uli. I, I take the mana lines because the mana, my, my favorite is mana ulu. Uh, but the mana variety of kalo. It's, it's the best for me, Kulolo. Ah. Because I think Gami, Chuya. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's, it's the best kind of color for you, and it's the best Aipa'a for you. I love to make poi from them, but I, it never seems to make it past the Aipa'a stage. Wow. I eat the whole thing. <laughs> and, and then I get, um, I get Ulu Maoli, the Hawaiian Ulu. Well, the big trees are going off right now. Um, I get Pico Uwawa. What else I get? Um, ula Ula Pony, Ula Ula Kumu. Me yes. um, for uh, La Ola Pa'au, I get Mamaki, Ko'oko Olao, and the two. Cause you have island, it in Manoa? Yeah. Wow, I've been trying to plant that forever. <laughs> I get three different varieties of Mamaki. What? Yeah, I get this island one. I get the, the Kalapana one and the Waipiho one. They're all different there. So one is red, one is light green, and the back is silver with white veins. The other one is dark green, the back is red veins. And then the third one, it's more circular, look like shiso, uh -huh. the Japanese. Yeah, yeah, leaf. yeah. And they're all good. And then I get two different Ko'oko'olau. Um, I get popolo, I get plan in popolo, I don't know, my popolo going off. <laughs> um, I get uhaloa, I get, I get all kind. Wow, wow. Yeah, wow. so I, my, my manao is, especially for the la ola pa'au, because we use that, there's something that was really, really used in our family. And even though my siblings may not really remember, they just remember my grandma was shoving some kind of plant in our mouth. <laughs> It was, it was traumatizing for most of us, but, but um, and because for me, yeah. yeah. And because yeah. of your pocket blood, you guys never use pochai pills. <laughs> no. but, that is my go-to sometimes. Me, I remember, I remember all the plants, and then when I got older, I, I was the one who asked plenty questions, so that's how I remember. Yeah. But I plant all this kind of stuff, and I know it's good for my Oakino. So all that kind of stuff, when I go back home, every time I go mountain, because that's where I find the most peace in my life, is when I go up mountain, or if I go Kahakai, and that kind of place, there are no more, no more people there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. I go, that's where I find so much peace over there. But every time I go, and I know what the plant looks like, I go Kando, I bring bring it to my hale over here in Mano, and they like, they grow. Wow. Wow. So, you know, you, I mean, you were busy, like the kind like you are always traveling and um, now you've been home. Um, how does that feel to be home for some time now? Um, it's super weird. I'll be honest. Um, I've never ever in my life been home this long. And, you know, for the majority of us, we are working. Eh? So, you know, normal not to do, especially if you're not going to go outside and go do the norm. Oh, throw you off. Yeah. Some days you get irritated with yourself. The mental health. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been trying, I try to get out there and do stuff, 
luckily, like I mentioned, I get pretty decent sized property. So I go outside, I go, I go in the mala, I work, I do a lot of stuff that I've been meaning to do that I never got to do. Mm-hmm. So I, my, my garden is pretty much up to par right now. So I was to think after that, I said, think, oh, what else I can do? <laughs> and then, so I go tell Mark, um, I go, eh, hey, I go make you one, the kinds, one raised bed salad box you could, for make the kind, or the kind grass you eat. <laughs> And he was totally for it. So that's the furthest I got out in terms of being able to get out of my holiday. So I went go home depot, go grab the, the lumber that I needed. I came back home, made this whole thing. It was on eight, eight feet by three and a half feet, raised bed, um, planter for him and get all kinds of stuff. Get bok choy, get carrots, get cabbage, get several lettuce, all kinds of stuff inside. I said, there you go, if the kind, the kukai hit the fan, you do it. <laughs> you might survive. <laughs> yeah. And then oh we, get all the, we get all the other Hawaiian stuff over here too. So I think at the end of the day, yeah. you know, I just we've been basically trying to set ourselves up, looking at the long run mm-hmm. to make sure that if something was to happen, we're okay. And we are. And we're just trying to really be safe, um, you know, with this money going around. And it's been really, it's been an eye opener. It's, it's spooky. Um, yesterday, somebody sent me a picture of the di- of all the islands, where are the, the infected areas on the islands. And for this island, it's right next door to us. And we get several in Manoa. So more so, we know, like, go out there. Yeah. So, and then Mark, he... he Kind of maka for me because I'm an asthmatic. Yeah. And this this last December I, I had um, pneumonia when I was in Japan. So you know if you get pneumonia, um, especially if you're an asthmatic, it takes long time. Yeah. To, to really get over it, and I'm st- I still haven't gotten over that. So if I was to get hit with this, my yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I know. No. So Seiji, Seiji just, just I think same time January had pneumonia as well. Um, we tried everything, every la'au, la'pa'au, the machine, four hours, we get it. Asthmatic people got a maka'ala, super got a maka'ala. So, you know, today was the, the talk story of uh, why we got to be home all day. How do you explain that to a five-year-old? How come I cannot see my kumu? How come I can't see my friends? You know, a little bit difficult to uh, translate, but... Um, but well, you know, getting back to you, Anna, I just I just wanted to say that it's really interesting because although you are a musician and an artist, um, you've taken the time to really ground yourself, if you will, um, with some of this EK that has been passed on to you. Um, I just want to tell everybody um, if you could share with everybody, um, you have posted some videos. How can people follow you? Because you did some videos on lay making, you have some videos on your gardening. How can people follow you? Um, social media is the best way. Um, I'm on Instagram, but the one you guys want to go on is the um, Facebook. Um, I get two pages, my personal page and the, and the fan page. The fan page um, is the is the one that is pretty much up to date in terms of what I'm doing today, if not the same thing. Okay. But, um, yeah. And it's just, you just type in my name. Okay. And it, it'll say Kuana Torres Kahela fan page. Awesome. Awesome. Any other questions? Yeah. You know, be, um, how is, how is it being a musician in this time with the social media and the technology? Like, have you, have you noticed that, um, while not being able to travel that that's still being able to somewhat, I guess, provide, you know, somewhat of income, I guess, on the musician side. The reason why I'm asking um, is because I uploaded a video the other day of halal. And, you know, we do white peel paia air. And when it came up, I got a note that said, you cannot make money off of this video. Royalties will go to Kuana Torres Kahele. <laughs> oh, mahalo. <laughs> but it was, it was on, like, YouTube said that. I was like, wow, this is crazy. I've never had that happen. It was a video of us in our house. The ladies was oh, just doing oh, oh, oh. an improv to kind thing. And he went to upload it and boom. I was like, I just, what do I know? Yeah, and, and, and YouTube sent me one thing that, cannot collect money off of this video because any money collected will go to your royalties. Oh, crazy, yeah. Crazy, yeah. Crazy. I, 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 if I you know, haven't seen any know. money yet, I'd make a phone call. <laughs> some, apparently, you're getting some. 
you know, um, I know like with ASCAP and this, and um, this map, all those um, those entities that um, watch the music and always sourcing out who playing on on the overhead in the airport in the store, they they police all that kind of stuff, yeah, and um. A lot of people gotta pay for that service. So, like when you get internet ready, you got even that they police all of that. So, if you're current with all of that as a musician or as a composer, you know, ASCAP they go out and they look for that kind of stuff, and then they get the royalties, and you get royalties for that. So, I may not know exactly what they're doing and how they're going out to get them, but I I know that if I listen to the uh, quarterly check that I get, so <laughs> 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 well, Claudia, we just want right. to thank you because you know this is this is people don't get to see this conversation all the time with you intimately. Yeah, you know, it, it at the end of the day, it really um, makes me happy that I was able to do this with you guys because this is as far this is the um, social distancing that we should be taking. Seriously, you know, mahalo kia cool. We get, like you said, just technology because if it was 20, 25 years ago or if it was the 90s, no more now that is. Yeah. <laughs> we got to write the thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. No? Right. Yeah. Because yeah. Nobody could really work from home. Yeah, okay. But today we can. Um, I just started getting um, my stuff together um, for my students in Japan because I, I usually go there monthly. Yeah. For my classes, and I'm going on um, four trips, my fourth missed trip already for Japan. Yeah, so it's, for yeah. me, I <laughs> took it serious before the um, everything went really, really get serious here yeah. in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, and so I, we, we've been kind of taking it hard over here, but we got to get the gears moving some way or somehow. So I've been starting to get my... Um, trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it via video, but i um, putting my, my curriculum together for my classes and I got to start sending them over yeah. to yeah. Japan. It's, it's, it's about all you can really do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this time, can. So, Anna, we just want to um, mahalo you again for joining us today. I just want to thank you for making time for us. You've always been a really great... Um, how do I say, like, we can text you at any given time, and you've always been open to talking with us and sharing. So we just want to thank you for always, wow. always being, you Everybody know. else get, like, three different managers got to go through. Like, <laughs> and you know what? At a certain time of the day. And, yeah. Yeah. No more. Yeah, no. and you know what? If I just want to talk to you, I just call Mark or, hey, can you yeah. see Anna? And it's easy, but I don't need to talk to five people. So I just want to yeah. mahalo you for being super okaaina. <laughs> and mahalo for the kind for making me put on, is this about the nicest I've dressed up in about four and a half weeks? Or maybe? Right here, me too. Look, I brushed my hair and makeup today. I know, I never dressed up so long. I forget how for how <laughs> I know we want to thank you so much and we just want to thank you again. Please support Kona Torres Kahele Music, um, all social media platforms. Follow him on his uh, fan page for video updates and his mala, his garden, cooking, la'au, la pa'au, you name it. Mahalo nui, Kona, and we'll catch you later. Mahalo. Mahalo. Aloha.